Hey what's up guys welcome to MV Tech Talker my name is Matt so in this video I'm going to show you how I set up automatic computer certificate enrollment within Active Directory using group policy using Windows Server 2016. Once configured you'll be able to use the issued computer certificate to grant access to a resource like the network or to applications. This type of authentication is traditionally used alongside a username and a password combination or before a user actually logs into their device. So if you haven't seen my how to install Microsoft Certificate Services video, make sure you watch that first as it shows you how to configure a root certificate authority and is a prerequisite to this video. In this video, I'm going to be using my Lab Windows 2016 Active Directory server with certificate service installed, which acts as the root certificate authority for the domain. This configuration is identical in Windows Server 2019. I will also be using a Windows 10 client machine to test a computer certificate auto enrollment. And on both machines, I'll be logged in with a domain administrator account. Okay, so before we start, let's take a look at the Certificate Services console. So we click on Tools and then go to Certification Authority. And let's expand the CA and let's go to the Certificate Templates. These are all the different types of certificates that can be issued to clients. The certificate that we're most interested in is the Computer Certificate, which has the client authentication and server authentication in tenant purpose. So this is what we're going to be using in the lab today. Now if you take a look in the issued certificates, this is a bunch of issued certificates that I've used for historic firewall configurations. But I just wanted to point out at this point, there's no computer certificate that's been issued by the CA. Let's minimize this page and now we're going to go back to server management console and click on tools and then we're going to open group policy management. Let's expand the forest and the domains and we're going to select my lab domain and then go into highlight it and then right click and then create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Give the new GPO a descriptive name. So computer certificate auto enrollment GPO and then click OK. Go back to that GPO and you get a little pop-up box, just click OK. Now we're going to edit and this is, this is the uh, group policy management editor which uh, allows us to make changes to the policy. So we're going to be concentrated on the computer certificates in this video. So let's highlight computer and expand the policies and um, Windows settings and security settings and what we're looking for is the public key policies and then we need to go into the certificate services client auto enrollment double click and we're going to enable this and then we're going to click these two boxes so renew expired certificates, update pending certificates and remove revoked certificates and update certificates that use certificate templates. We're going to click apply and then OK. OK, so that's the certificate service client auto enrollment enabled. The next step is to tell the clients which client certificates they can request. So under public key policies, Click on automatic certificate request settings and then we're going to right click and then new and then automatic certificate request. We're going to click next and make sure that the computer template is highlighted and then we're going to click next and then finish and then you should see the computer certificate here. Now we can see if the configuration has been successful. Let's manually update the group policy on the AD server and then we should be able to see the issue certificate on the Windows 10 client. So let's open up a command prompt and we're going to issue the GP update space forward slash force. 
and we can see that the policies have completed successfully. Now we can head over to the Windows 10 lab client and do the same thing over there and see if we can see the issued certificate. One thing you need to make sure is when you log into the Windows 10 client, you use an admin account as a standard Windows 10 user doesn't have the permissions to see the computer certificates. So once you're logged in as admin, you need to open up the MMC console. And then we're going to click file and then add remove snap in. And then we're going to select certificates and then we're going to add certificates to the white space on the right. And then we're going to select computer account and then next and then finish and then OK. If you expand the certificates now and you click on personal, you can see that there is no certificates as group policy has not updated on the client machine yet. This can take anywhere between 90 and 120 minutes for this to do it automatically. So we're not going to wait that. So let's let's force the group policy by opening up a command prompt and issuing the same command as we did before. So that's gp update space forward slash force. So that's successfully updated so we can minimize that window. And if we refresh the MMC window, you can see now we've got a, a folder that's appeared underneath personal. And if you click on it, we can see we have a machine certificate or computer certificate. So it was issued to this lab um, client and is issued by the root CA and the intended purposes is for client authentication and server authentication. So if you double click on the certificate, you can see the intended purposes. You can see the issue to, which is the Windows 10 lab client, issued by, which is the CA server. We've got a valid from and to date. And also it lets us know that we have the private key that matches the certificate. And if we click on the certification path tab, we can see we've got a chain of trust. Okay, so to wrap up this lab, let's go back to the CA server and take a look at the issued certificates. So if we now refresh this, we can see that number 27 has appeared and it's the computer certificate template and it was issued to the Windows 10 client. So my friends, this is how you can set up computer certificate auto enrollment on Windows 2016 and 2019 server. So that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Over the next coming weeks, I will be uploading more videos where I will be sharing more content about Palo Alto firewall features and technologies and how to configure them. If you like this video, I'm sure you know what to do by now. But just in case you don't, please hit that like button below and share with your friends and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. If you have any ideas of video content you want me to create, please put them in the comments below as I would love to hear your feedback on any aspect of my channel. Please keep watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.